Hey there, this is Lana Zantanis Guy, your spiritual fairy godmother, bringing you your reading for your Sagittarius caps. So, Sag caps. Please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading hypnosis, whatever I do. Also, visit janisguy.com. You can book a reading on there. Also, uh, Metaphysical Meanderings. Um, got lots of stuff going on in my website now. Lots of positive stuff, uh, classes, all kinds of stuff going on. So, keep watching. Also, have my yearly predictions for uh, uh, January 7th on my Metaphysical Meanderings podcast. The music you're listening to, it's a real low, it's very calming, is from my plant wave. It's on a banana plant. So if you guys have, don't know what that is, it is something, plants conduct electricity, they give off a frequency, and I'm picking up the frequency of the plant. So it's very relaxing. And yes, I'm going to make some videos and some, some things to meditate with. So just be patient with me, okay? So joke of the day. Joke of the day, um comes from a somebody I I, found, I I heard it and I laughed so if I laugh I share it with you even though they're, they're kind of stupid but why why did Cinderella run why did Cinder, why let me say this again why is Cinderella bad at soccer there I got it out because she's always running from the ball there you go yeah see yeah. all right now you this is my sign and there's a choice that needs to be made with the King of Cups. Now, it could be a time of healing, too. You have a decision you need to make. Now, there's been some stuff going on that lying, cheating, stealing. Somebody's going to bring you something you love, though, with, with a very emotional message and a brand new meeting with somebody. So somebody, is, and it's a wish that you want so badly. This can be a new marriage, a new relationship. It's new and watery. And you got a couple upside down cards here. So it's very interesting. But you are going to be successful overall. You're kind of fear. You're kind of afraid of not being that way. But you will be. Now, I find this very interesting. Because we've got a message that can't come out. And it's tr you're trying to turn it new, new, over a new leaf. It's like you're starting from scratch. Like it's a do-over. Bam. This month. Now, this is a seven. Now, remember, I'm also a Sag gal. Now, uh, cusp. Now, you are in a seven year, which is, and we are in Mercury in retrograde, which it's Capricorn energy. So, it actually could be a really good time for us to really relook at stuff and do a do-over. I'm done with this. Let's move on. I'm done with that. Let's move on. Now, it has something to do with you're more afraid of being down and out than you really need to be. Because look at here's hard work that need, you aren't going to be down and out. This could be disappointment or it could be even a bill or something that comes due and you're like, oh, really? But you're going to be working hard at this and you're going to be okay. Now, I like seeing this card, even though they warn you not to get too stressed out because you hurt your back. But, um, be careful of this because this is hard work, but your success also. Okay, and there you are, the king of Pente of a queen of pentacles. Now that you, even if you're male, I have about I don't have that many males that watch me. I usually tap between ten and fifteen percent, but that does just because this is female does not mean it's not you, because this is a a earthy person, great with plants, great with children. Um, knows where she's going, a good planner, that type of thing. So sometimes you will see where even if you're female, you'll pull a king of pentacles for yourself. See, look at, there's good news coming. That's good news. Okay, so just remember that. All right, so let's go and look at the moonologies because I'm happy to see these, some of these cards. But it's a do-over. A new, it's almost like you're, I don't want to say you're, turning over a new leaf, but you're making your mind up on what you need to get rid of and what you need to keep. And that is the querent question, by the way. Well, and this could be having something to do with this person also. This person is a very wise person, but it could be you using learning to, to let go of it doesn't work. Or it's a person who could be a Pisces, uh, a Pisces Cancer or a um, Scorpio. So it's something where you have to make your mind up and what you're going to do. I want to say you're just 
people are going to bring you something you love. You have an emotional message coming. It's going to all work out. You're going to have to work at it, but it's all going to be in your favor. And I love seeing the good news card. Okay. So let's go to, to Moonology. Prosperity is lying ahead. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Um, a time a time to give rather than a time to take. Look at your bigger picture. Look at the bigger picture. Don't let pride get in your way. Admit your defeat. Move on. There's good stuff coming. A win-win is in your forecast. See how good that is? So just think about it. Blessings to you make this a great month. 